we have a couple. Aye. We have a, have we a couple of questions. Aye. Yeah. So. Okay, for the Croatian journalists, we'll we'll do some questions uh, towards the end of the press conference, uh, which will get translated. Um, but we'll just go through our normal questions first. Is that okay? Yeah. Thanks, Richard. Ronald, every week we've asked you about Gilfie Sigurdsson. It appears that a deal is inching closer. What's the very latest, please? No, the latest is that he had his medical this morning. And what I heard from the doctor was no, uh, no problem about that. But I don't know if, st if still he needs to shine. But I saw him in, uh, in the blue. And OK, normally uh, we will do the, 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 the business, of course, uh, today. But yes, normally he will come. There's a big smile on your face when you say that. He's clearly someone that's highly prized by you. Yes, of course, because we worked uh, a long time uh, to get this deal uh, in, and uh, he was one of the the key players to bring in, uh, and that was all about uh, that. Of course, we knew uh, we will lose uh, Lukaku uh, for this season, and we need players who will bring in uh, uh, productivity to the team. We lost by Lukaku 25 goals, and 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 we need more players than one to get that number of goals and and he's that type of player with a lot of productivity it's uh, he knows the premier league and uh, he had a really uh, good seasons uh, in swansea and he's in my opinion in his position one of the best in the premier league how close do you think he is to being match sharp because obviously he's missed out on a bit of pre-season yeah, that's 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 difficult. I will have uh, a talk to to Kilfi this afternoon, also about this. He will be not involved for tomorrow. He did not train today. And uh, yes, maybe for Monday. I don't know. I need to talk to Kilfi. I need to know what his physical state is. He did uh, the training in the beginning of the preseason and and later on with the first team. But okay. Let's wait how the fitness is. But just to clarify, the deal is done, is it now? I don't know if it's really done. The deal, there is an agreement, yes. But I don't know if all the the sign, uh, the, the paperwork is done. I don't know. But you yes. hope it be completed today, presumably. No, no. Um, as one player comes in, obviously Gareth Barry has gone out after four years here at Everton. A, a word for the job he's done well at. Yes, of course. It's. Uh, it was really a difficult uh, decision uh, when uh, Gareth came in and asked me to leave because he knew that that uh, maybe he didn't play every every weekend and he's still that player who in love uh, in football and to play and uh, but in in the first uh, meeting what we have about this then yeah I wasn't happy because. Uh, I was really happy to keep him in the team because uh, we expect a tough season, a lot of games, and then you need more than uh, than three or four or five midfield players. But okay, uh, our relationship was uh, on that level that that I gave him uh, the chance to go. Of course, Ross Barkley is still here, but there's been a number of reports suggesting that he's had a setback with a hamstring injury. Can you bring us up to speed on that? He uh, he stopped training. Uh, I think it was last Monday. It looks like a hamstring injury, but uh, we need to do more tests today and tomorrow to know exactly what uh, what the injury is. But okay, we need to wait. Is there any idea at this point how long that? No, could no, no. At this at this moment, not. Uh, and aside from that, what's the injury news with the rest of the squad? Looking ahead to this Europa Cup time. Yeah, we have we have some problems. Uh, James McCarthy is out uh, at a knock on his knee. Uh, Sandro Ramirez is doubtful for tomorrow. We have 17 uh, field players, but it's enough for tomorrow. But of course, we need more, and 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 because everybody knows we have really a, a tough 11 days coming up. But OK, the team is ready for tomorrow. Of course, there are a lot of demands on, on your squad with European commitments, the Premier League 
as well? Would it be fair to say that your business in the transfer market isn't done at this stage? No, it isn't, isn't done. And everybody knows why, because uh, still we are looking uh, into positions uh, to make the squad even uh, stronger than the squad is at this uh, stage. Do you feel you have to prioritise even this early in the season with midweek commitments in Europe and, and the Premier League, of course, on Monday? I think it's it isn't a problem at this stage of the season. Of course, it's difficult because we have, after tomorrow, we have three away games in in in, in five six days, and and we need to travel to Croatia. That makes it even more tough for the Sunday game after that. But okay, anyway, we we could we physical good the beginning of the season, but it's tough. Everybody knows. But okay, we will uh, go game by game. We don't. Uh, we serve people for uh, for Monday. We like to be part of Europe. We will put a strong team in tomorrow, and uh, after tomorrow, we will think uh, what the best is uh, to get a good result against City. In these games, with such a hectic schedule, of course, you, you need your experienced players to be leaders on the pitch, don't you? And Wayne Rooney made a, a goal-scoring Premier League return at the weekend. How pleased were you with that performance? Yeah, very pleased. Uh, I mentioned after the game, uh, he was... Uh, by far the best player on the pitch, a lot of experience. Uh, he knew exactly what the best uh, decision was on the pitch in, in every moment in the game. And uh, he showed that quality, what, uh, what the team needs to improve and what the, teams, uh, what the team needs to win games and to win trophies. And of course, it's not your first experience at this stage of the Europa League. You probably won't thank me for reminding you of Southampton's elimination here two years ago against FC Michelin, but are you better for, for that experience? Do you take something from that? No, it's difficult because it's always difficult uh, to get really soon in your pre-season uh, that competitive games to play and uh, okay uh, at that time we did everything to qualify uh, the team for, the, for Europa we lost but okay, finally uh, Maybe also you remember that we finished uh, sixth in the league and and then it's no problem. What do you know about Hajduk splits? How many games have been able to see on tape? Uh, now we know a lot. Of course, we're analyzing uh, Hajduk split. Uh, my brother Erwin uh, watched the game away against Zagreb and you have uh, video and they don't have secrets for us and and we will not have secrets for them. Mi nevam od tajni od njih, a oni nemaju tajni od nas. And then secrets, the people keep. I to nisu tajna koja se kriju. Mi smo od tog iskustva dobili nešto i imali beneficiju od toga. How tough a draw is this for Everton? No, it's, it's, a, it's a difficult one. Uh, the same what uh, in the first round was. Uh, two times a clean sheet, two times one nil. It was difficult. And uh, the experience in Europe, there is no, uh, no easy game. And uh, of course, the first at home, uh, we need a good result. We know uh, about playing uh, away can be tough. Can be tough about uh, the ambience in the stadium, but we have enough experience uh, to deal with that uh, ambience, but uh, we need a good result, and that's really important tomorrow. Very important that tomorrow we have a good result, and it is important for us and for you, and it is the most important at the end of the result that we have. And just finally for me, Ronald, there's been a lot of talk this week that both the EFL and the Premier League at their respective meetings next month will look into this idea of perhaps shutting the, the transfer window in this country before the start of the season. Is that a good thing and what are your thoughts on that? I think it's a good thing because now uh, you start already uh, the league and, 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 and teams can be totally different in a, in a positive way but also in a negative way if you buy players from teams and they cannot do business because it happened in, in the final day, then it's a different opponent. And, and in my opinion, fair play uh, 
is important in football and and i really should i will support that that idea for sure thank you very much okay hi ronald just wanted to go back to ross barkley for a minute if i could um you mentioned the injury that he's picked up obviously a lot of transfer speculation around him is that any idea that the injury might influence whether he leaves the club this summer? I don't know. I don't know. Is there any update as far as he's no, concerned? No, there's no update uh, about his situation. No. Is is he in your plans then for this season? I will wait till the end of uh, August. Okay, well, move on to uh, Hadrick Split then, taking on that Croatian team. Just give me a sense of how much you know about them and what sort of challenge they could present to you? Like always, uh, we prepare ourselves. We give uh, all the information to the players. We showed clips uh, individually and, and, and as a team uh, to all the players. And that's what we normally do. It's no exception uh, for now. It's no less attention than the attention will be for next Monday or for next week because uh, I like to win the game. I like to, to, to reach the group stage of the Europa League. And, 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 and today is more important than Monday. And after tomorrow, Monday is important and more important than Thursday coming up. And that's, that's how I think we need to do. And, and we are professionals. And, uh, and we know in Europe, and we know we have the example against Rumsarok at home, it was difficult and it will be difficult tomorrow as well. Pitanje je bilo u vezi Hajduka Split. Kako se pripremate? Kaže, pripremamo se za svaku, vrlo ozbiljno, za svaku futbolsku utakmicu koja pričinjava challenge u svakom slučaju i danas se spremamo za sutra. Sutra ćemo se spremati za vikend za sledeću utakmicu. Tako da vrlo ozbiljno prihvatamo sve te pripreme. Gledali smo film koji se, kako se igra, kako igraju i šta ima. Tako da smo kompletno pripremljeni. Nadamo se da smo pripremljeni sasvim za sve. How much of a challenge will Thursday football present to you? The Thursday, Sunday pattern? Oh, we know. English teams, they, they, they have some problems. I think uh, it's more mental than physically because uh, if you play Wednesday evening Champions League and you play on Saturday, uh, you have the same games, same days to recover, the number of days to recover. But maybe psychologically, it's 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 different because it's a Thursday. But I don't care. With that in mind, oh sorry. Uh, Kako, kako mislite da, da će efekt, efekta imati na vas utakmica koju igrate u nedelju posle sutrašnje utakmice? Kaže, to je svima u glavi, jel ako igrate dva dana jedni posle, posle toga, ipak to ima efekta mentalno i fizičkog, ali mi smo na to spremni i moramo da prihvatimo da je to ka, kako je u planu i and with that in mind, how much uh, rotation would you be looking to, to use throughout the Europa League? Would, would younger players get a chance? No, I, I try to put uh, the strongest team uh, to start the game. And OK, if there's any uh, problem, but it's also possible the tactical way of the game uh, makes substitutes, makes difference, different players to start. but. I have 17. It's not so difficult. If you have 25, maybe then it's more difficult. Pita da li ćete ubaciti u vaš tim mlađe igrače? Odgovor je da ja imam pripremljen tim zašto bi ubacivao ime i ne od bilo šta, ali imam izbor da odaberem koga hoću za tim i sasvim sam zadovoljan sa onim planom koji ja imam za odabiranje igrača. Do you have any questions from the Croatian journalists? Jel imate vi neko pitanje? Ramirez, Sandro Ramirez, 
Koliko je vjerojatno da će sutra igrati? Sandra, Sandra Remiz is a question about how sure it is would he play tomorrow? No, we will make that decision tomorrow morning. Um, thank you. Um, <laughs> oni, će, oni će da donesu tu odluku sutra ujutru. So last one at the back. Jel imate još nešto? What do you what do you think of Hajduk? Brother Erwin, what uh, <laughs> to you? Brother, brother Erwin. Uh, now we know they 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 are strong. They are physically strong at the back. Uh, of, of course, they they lost uh, the striker. I think uh, he's not playing uh, the big striker that that make a little bit difference to the team. But they have some good midfield players. We watched the game when they play at home against Brumby. And okay, uh, we need to be uh, at our best uh, to get a good result. And uh, at least a clean sheet at home that makes uh, really uh, good opportunities to uh, to reach the group stage of the Europa League. My answer to that is that they are a very strong team. Nekoliko igrača neće igrati, kao što, kao što vam je poznato, ali um, big, uh, veliki uh, strajkar neće igrati što, sutra, što vas već znate. Um, ovi poza, um, midfield, da, po, uh, pozadi, oni su vrlo dobri, ali mi ćemo dati sve najbolje što možemo sutra, ali imat ćemo Isto to u obziru da iduće nedelje može da se pokaže sasvim drugo. Ok. Ok, thank you. Thank you.